The exhibit at New York's Seaport Museum brings together 39 Stieglitz photographs for the first time since he displayed them nearly 80 years ago. Stieglitz is considered a giant in photography. He pushed the technical limits of the young medium during the early decades of the 20th century. Curator Bonnie Jokelsen says Stieglitz worked when the camera was still a primitive instrument. It was his personal goal to do things that nobody else tried to do, like photographing at night, and photographing in storm, stormy conditions or in rainy conditions or at dawn or at dusk under very you know, difficult lighting conditions. Stieglitz was born in 1864. He played a pivotal role in turning the medium into an art form and in promoting the work of other photographers and painters of that period. Jokelsen says Stieglitz's own work expressed profound loneliness. He was a kind of um, um, man of romantic, deep romantic emotions. And so uh, his New York, especially in his early pictures, well in all of his pictures of New York, don't really capitalize on the bustle and hustle and energy of New York as much as New York as a place um, that expresses his feelings of uh, loneliness. One of his most famous images, taken in 1893, captures the loneliness of a coachman in a snowstorm. Stiglitz said he waited, alone, for three hours to capture it. One of the secrets to that picture is that it's cropped. Um, it was actually a horizontal picture and there were people on either side of the street and he cropped it into a vertical that eliminated um, those people. Stiglitz also documented New York as skyscrapers first rose in its midst never venturing far from his Manhattan apartment, and sometimes shooting his photographs through his apartment window. Bonnie Jokelson says New York was a pioneer among modern cities. She says people everywhere can recognize the spirit of commerce and progress captured by Alfred Stieglitz. The exhibit runs through mid-January 2011. Peter Fedinsky, VOA News, New York.